Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video about um, a kind of weird hair tip that I discovered. Um, I've been trying to get back into working out and exercising recently, and when I say recently, I mean like um, the past week or so. But um, this is something that I have done on and off throughout the years that I do get in my spurts that I do want to exercise that has really helped me. I don't know if you guys have the same problem um, when you sweat a lot, especially in your nape area, um, kitchen, nape, whatever, that that area when there's a lot of sweat back there, after it dries, it kind of gets kind of knotted and tangled and matted almost. Something about the combination between the hair back there and um, sweat just doesn't mix and it just you have a dry knotted mess um, right after the hair dries and when you go to detangle it's a little extra work to deal with than normal so what I have found that really really works for me before I begin working out to kind of act as a buffer before I start exercising is I will put um, back there on the nape of my neck right um, I'll show you guys about how much I put but usually when I exercise, my hair is up, 9 times out of 10, and from about the base of the perimeter right here all the way to right here is where I sweat a lot in my head. So all the way on that area, I will add a pomade type butter product. Um, when I say a pomade, I don't really mean like a strictly pomade product, especially if it has beeswax, I won't use it on my hair, but um, like a hair butter more so, like a firm hair butter. This, I don't know if you guys can see the label because the sun in here is crazy. Um, can you see it? No, and then the product is white, but it's the old formula of the Karen Spotty Beautiful um, hair cream with shea butter, and it's a really nice... Um, medium to firm whole butter type of product and I use this on my nape area as well as the front of my hair before I exercise to provide a buffer between my hair and the sweat and it really really seems to work of course my hair is still a little damp with the perspiration but it is not tangled and it's not all matted and dry it kinda acts as a nice um umbrella between my hair and the sweat which is really cool so I still sweat and you know perspire when I'm working out but it's not all dry and matted and tangled because you know of course sweat is composed of um what is the word? It has salinity in it. So it is water with a little bit of salt mixed in it. So salt water is known to dry out the hair. I know it dries out my hair whenever I go to the beach. Um, it is a recipe for disaster, my hair in the ocean. Um, so this helps to prevent your hair from tangling up and knotting up and drying with that um, dry, matted feeling in the back. So um, I put that all around my hair like... I do like this and I apply it as well as in the back and it just adds a nice buffer um, when I'm doing my hair and some of the ways that I put my hair up when I'm exercising if it's out like this I'll clip it up I'll divide it into two sections and I'll clip it up just out of my way I'll clip it up like this on each section I'll put it in a high bun a high ponytail if I have twists or braids in my hair I'll put it into a high bun or ponytail or I'll clip it up like that as well or I will put a scarf on my head while I am exercising and um, all that will go in congruence with using the um, buttery pomade type product to do that so uh, I just wanted to throw that tip out there um, for all you ladies who are out there working out all you ladies who are um, just having to huff it to work because I know in the mornings when I'm walking to work I get a little sweaty um, on my hair in my nape area so um, I do this in the morning as well and it really helps my hair not to get all dry and matted and tangly so I hope that helps happy exercising um, to everyone, happy start of the summer too. Woo, woo, woo. Not officially, but it definitely feels like summer where I'm at right now. But anyway, um, yep, I hope that helps a little bit and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.